Hello and welcome to Let's Develop Code Hunt. I've recently got to know this uh, fun little game by Microsoft which is called Code Hunt. And yeah, let's step right into it. I already created a, a Google account uh, for, for Code Hunt in order to uh, play this game. You don't really need to do this login thing, only uh, uh, that it helps you save your uh, progress in the game, so uh, I did this. Okay, let's jump right into this. What, what is code hunting about? Code hunting is about writing code that this uh, tool environment provides you tests for. So we're going to start with the training and I'm going to explain what this is really about uh, along with what I do because uh, I already started this tutorial once and there's a couple of fancy story explanations for this development stuff we're going to do here. Okay, so let's start the first tutorial section and it's initializing the training sequence. The whole thing is actually, uh, as I already said, developed by Microsoft and uh, it says you are an experimental application known as the Code Hunter. You, along with other code hunters, have been sent into top secret computer system to find, restore, and capture as many code fragments as possible. So we're doing reverse engineering here. And your progress, along with your fellow code hunters, will be tracked. So uh, the gamification part of this system will somehow track how good we do. Let's start this. Scanning sector one. Ooh, we're jumping right into the fancy system, going to hack it. Okay, let's see. So we have around on the left side a fragment of a program we found, which is uh, public class, public method, getting an integer parameter, returning the same parameter. Fancy thing. This is my first code fragment I found, and what's going to happen now after I found this code fragment is that it's being loaded into my advanced code extractor device. Wow, that sounds fancy and display on the left window. Yeah, I can see that. And then there's this capture code button in my advanced code extractor device and uh, it will help me test my code fragment uh, to help me find the correct one. What the tool actually does in the background is automatically generate tests for the code I write to show me whether the code I wrote is correct or not. So it's going to try to find test cases that actually break the program I write uh, with respect to the specification of the program. Okay, uh, so it will help me restore the code fragments and uh, I can press this button to uh, yeah, actually find out something. I'm going to do that now. So, okay, some fancy arrows. What's happening here? is the tests are being executed. Actually, that's uh, only slow for the first time, so we can see what's going on. And now it tells us that our advanced code extraction device has found some cases that don't work. So let's have a look at that. Oh, it actually found another case that... Oh, it actually changed my code for me. <laughs> that's nice. So as you can see over here, it already changed the code once, added this additional conditional branch here, fixed thereby the second test case, and now it re-executed the whole thing and generated another test case that fails. So, um, yeah, my goal is actually to find the correct implementation. I did that for an, yet another time. So, uh, yeah, let's go over that. Thing is, the better the implementation looks, so the fence is the, the better, the easier, the stylish it is, I will get style points. So uh, my goal is actually not only to solve the problem by implementing this program, but also to uh, implement it in a nice stylish way. So okay, yeah, it actually found this for me, this was really a step through tutorial. Um, and as you can see here, I achieved the maximum amount of style points because I found the minimal solution. But this step through thing is actually not 
that interesting so I'm going to try to uh, do some development on my own but first let's see if I can get this a little bigger actually the resolution of the graphics is not that good but uh, I hope you can see now what's going on here so okay again we found a little code sm snippet and extracted it to our advanced code extraction device it's again only one method getting an in parameter returning something in this case zero and as we can see from over here um, we have that for the input zero it was expected to return one but it actually returned zero which is a mismatch and for the input minus one the expected result was zero and my result was zero okay I'm starting returning zero here right now so this was fine and it's telling me uh, I'm getting close look at line four to capture the code uh, yes of course the arrow is <laughs> somehow in line four because that's the only line there is so uh, if I tag along uh, according to what they did I would do something like uh, what they did in a previous example, example would be something like okay if x equals 0 return 1 and then I would re-execute this whole fancy code thing and then it tells me okay for 0 I know there's expected 1 return 1 but for 1 I expected 2 but I return 0 um, and it tells me well done <laughs> look at line four and five these hints are really 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 not that helpful so although I already have an idea let's try if we get it to return actually one more step so what what have now ah interesting I just uh, just accidentally pressed uh, save because I'm used to do that after I change some code and it seems to be that save is forwarded to the capture code button so we can stop clicking this fancy button but only when only press save that's nice so okay what have we now second test case passed third test case says okay for input 2 it was expected to return 3 but it actually returns 0 so um i mean you've probably seen it already uh, i see too there's a pattern 0 1 1 2 2 3 so what this probably does is just return x plus 1 I'd say so let's see whether that's correct <laughs> and actually it is correct so we captured the correct program and we get a we get a skill rating of maximum I'd say a total score of 6 woohoo and we wrote a very intelligent code uh, elegant code let's proceed to the next one Okay, so there's actually already some cases implemented. What can we see here? Input 0, expected 0, my result is 0. That's nice. Input 1, expected 2, my result is 0. Input 2, expected 4, my result is 4. Input 6, my result uh, expected is 12. Actual is also 12. So... Yeah, I mean, 0, 0, 1, 2, 2, 4, 6, 12, I guess this is like doubling x. So, while guess 2 times x. Let's see what happens. Yeehaw! We captured the program and you get 9 total skill rating points. That's nice. We're so good, we're so good, we're so good, let's continue going to make this easy 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 nearly there look at lines four to seven that's again all lines there are thanks for these hints Microsoft that really helps okay let's see so now this time we have two inputs and we have zero and zero expected zero zero and thirty three expected thirty three zero and one expected one thirty three and zero expected thirty three one and zero expected one Somehow I can't help but thinking that this will be x plus y. Oop, and I captured it. And again, a very elegant, elegant solution. Total score of 12. Ah, I am so good in this pretty easy tutorial things. 
Ah, and actually we're through with the training. That's nice. So I guess that's it now for this first episode. In the next episode, I'm going to start with the arithmetic, more complicated coding things. Stay tuned. <laughs>